can democratic China become the world's best country? In today's video, we're going to find out. So, but one of the first steps of China becoming less autocracy and more democracy, I want to move towards wealth voting and then obviously eventually universal suffrage. But first, wealth voting and landed voting will be my targets because the scholar officials won't be too unhappy if I switch to land voting and they won't be too unhappy I don't think if I if I go to wealth voting but first we've got to remove their strength at the moment they have a huge huge strength in our government and I want to move it towards the literacy and the industrialists because they're obviously the best at the moment so the first thing I might want to do is do this here it's gonna take 35 months and I'd like to also research um, the stock exchange talking industry wise I'd like to pick a specific area and build that up so if we have a look here at Beijing they have logging camps and they have iron mines however the logging camps are a maximum of two already so I want to get a place that has access to logging camps and iron mines and obviously urban but that area as well and this is because I want my construction sectors. Construction sectors at the moment only need fabric and wood. However, as I'm building up, I'm going to need iron, um, tools, fabric, wood and iron. So I'm going to need everything else. Never mind, I've changed my mind. This state does not have access to water. So I'm not going to bother building there. If I built here, then yeah, we wouldn't be able to access any of the goods from any of my other states because I don't have railways invented yet. So we need to pick a coastal area. Um, to build up in. Maybe this state here, because it's got nine logging camps, I can build up some tooling workshops, some logging camps, and I've got iron accessible from here. I can also build up some construction sectors and ports. So this will be a nice spot to start off in. Many of the Chinese um, Western states are unincorporated. So we might as well do that to get their taxes. Um, obviously, I don't want to go under my bureaucracy, and it's quite difficult to get more bureaucracy in this country because you add policing, you go down a lot. If I get dedicated police force, you can see that this is going to cost me 3,599 3, bureaucracy um, just to get policing put in. So that's not going to be fun. Okay, so this is the opium crisis and I would not like to have opium here to be honest we have to do something because it's gonna reduce our offensive defensive it's really gonna ruin everything um so i'm gonna have to do something and the british will go to war with us but we might be able to sway some countries if we get like russia we can get a trade agreement or we can try and form a defensive pact yeah that's a decent one obviously my military right now is not strong it's a weak um like militia type units but um we've got a defensive pack with russia now okay so the opium crisis this is going to cause us a lots of problems so i'm going to ban opium as of now and we need five years to go past before everything will be fine and we won't be going to war with the uk but within this time opium is going to be a problem um just because the UK want to sell it to us. Okay, here we go. Here is the UK demanding some of our land. Russia, they're going to war, but they're going, they're attacking. So what do they want? They want the Shao. Basically, they're going to want Hong Kong, right? They want Hong Kong. We're going to have to decline. They're going to start a diplomatic um, thingy jiggy against me. I can get Russia in. Uh, that would be nice. I can also get Thainam which is uh, basically this little country down here. The war has started and we have Russia on our side, but they're not actually helping anywhere. We're gonna have the British trying to land here. Right, the Battle of the Sea didn't go too well, but hopefully, oh, I was gonna say, hopefully the Battle of the Land isn't too bad. It's going very poorly. Maybe if we do some of this, do we have sugar? That's my real question. Yeah, we have sugar. So I can give some of these guys sugar. Hey, the Russians have turned up with our boats and they're winning in the water. That's pretty good. Pretty good. They've got 41 versus the Plymouth 39. Yeah, we've got this. We've got the defense. I've actually added some commanders to all these um, armies now. So we should be should be set to defend. Yeah, I, w I wouldn't have won this without the Russians. But the Russians seem to be doing 
really, really well against the British fleet. And they are now lower than I am. They are getting challenged here in actual Russia. So if they lose this, then I might have a few problems. The British are trying another naval invasion near Beijing. Are dramatically failing. I might just go for a white piece if they don't go below zero, because they might not. Okay, even though this is going to be difficult, I've been able to get the literary, li the, the intelligentsia into my government. And this means that then I can move from autocracy to landed voting, or even wealth voting. But I don't want to try wealth voting because it removes the um, landowners or the scholar officials. Um, Opinion. So, whereas land voting doesn't. Okay, Great Britain are offering white peace and Russia has just capitulated. So we take it. We take it. We would not be able to continue this war. They've already humiliated Russia, but I'm not letting them humiliate me. I'd love to switch to homesteading, yet it's going to radicalise my um, scholar officials. So, there's no point in doing that. We might as well just go to tenant farmers and slowly do it. There's tenant farmers they don't like it, it's worse than serfdom for them, but it's so much better for us because it removes 25% of their political strength. Just what I wanted to see, we now have tenant farmers. Obviously, we won't see a huge difference to begin with, but I think that, yeah, look, we can have a look at the clout on the graph. We can see this already dipped, which is good because now the rural folk, all these other government types are much much better off. The aristocrats at the moment have the most political strength and aristocrats usually support the scholar officials. So if I remove that um, peasant levies for professional army that will mean that we can um, move that political strength to the armed forces instead. Oh dear, due to my major lack of money, I've had to increase my taxes uh, in the country and I'm having to build more government admin buildings. I don't know why this has dipped so much. I know we've got a plus 4.1% 4, 4 tax waste, but I forget that in smaller nations, going under bureaucracy doesn't matter, doesn't matter as much as here, because in China, Plus 4.1% tax waste is a lot of money. In Belgium or whatever, it's not as much. But with a population of 380 million people, 4.1% uh, is a lot of cash. The reason that I have a lead um, input shortage is because I just researched lathes. And lathe, the lathe is a great little tool. It sort of boosts our production of a lot of things. The glass workshops, the reason that we need the lead is for the lead glass. And the opium crisis is complete. We have ended addiction and we get a pick between um, them. The sovereignty of the Great Qing is absolute, which gives us loads of authority, influence and legitimacy. Or harmony will uh, return. Uh, that will remove, obviously, their addiction to opium but it will also decrease mortality i'm gonna go for this there you go we have professional army now that is really good actually they have dropped a little bit more which is good which means it's going to other parties like the rural folk the armed forces and hopefully eventually the industrialists romanticism is now researched this gives us access to things like well no not like agrarianism what was it my brain's gone blank. My blank's gone brain. What did that give us again? <laughs> that gave us access to agrarianism. Yeah, I'm correct. Gives us access to agrarianism and it also gives us access to industry band, but we're obviously not going to do that. I need this bureaucracy and yes, I understand I'm in debt and yes, I understand that maybe I'm doing something wrong. I haven't played in months. Oh yeah, I was going to get to that. I've had a bit of a busy life in the last like month or and a bit. So I apologise for not uploading or even playing this game this is the first time i played it for a while i'm, I'm kind of happy that the dlc was um postponed so i can actually play it when it releases so yeah but if i've forgotten things um that you guys have left comments about i truly apologize it's been a very long time you know what else would do it sorry the banking was not the point you know what else would do it having my government wages at plus 15 percent look at how much money i'm spending on this that is already reducing. Usually I have it at nothing, nothing, and nothing because I don't care about prestige. But at the moment, I want my intelligentsia to be pretty happy. 
So I might lower it to... Uh, how much prestige have I got? Quite a lot, actually. And it's not taking me any higher. Why am I so low? Oh, right, okay, so someone hasn't recognised me yet. That's a pain. Uh, what was I going to do? Yes. So if that doesn't matter, might as well just reduce them. Okay, I've just researched atmospheric something something and pumps. Um, atmospheric engine pumps, I think. Uh, they require... So what that does is that means that we can switch this production method to atmospheric engine pump. Uh, you can see here the input we're going to need is coal. And coal is going to be not too difficult to get to be honest we just need to build up coal in like regions like this we can already get profit from it i know it's a shame and yes i apologize to my population that can't hear me but i've had to introduce oh my god more consumption taxes on uh services because that's gonna that's making me bank i can't lie um i need other things though like is tea tea's not a necessity is it i want to get my money up because i've just had a look and interest rates are awful right now minus 116,000 is this a month i can i've never figured this out is this a month or is this a year or, or is this a week you know what i mean it doesn't ever say anywhere it just is it's just the it's just the expensive for what period that's that's what's happening right now i'm taxing everyone and i'm paying everyone nothing so you know we're, we're building still we haven't gone too far down we now have agrarianism um, if that's how you... Why? What has happened? Wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. What the hell just happened? Oh, here we go. Plus, no, minus 25% bureaucracy population cost multiplier. An increase or reduction to the base administrative cost incurred to your... Ah... Okay, well, that's this a pain, really. I've just been able to research lined infantry, which requires arms industries. Uh, so, in Beijing, where I'm going to be trying to build up my industry even more, um, I'm going to increase my arms industries by two, I think. I'm giving, la I'm giving landed voting another try. I know it's only at 5%, but we've got to, right? We have to. There's 8% support, but I can't get the trade union list, unions in anyway, so this is going to be difficult. We can try and get it. We can try our hardest to get landed voting, and then I can try and get the industrialists in. That's my main aim, to be totally honest with you. Right, okay, I don't like to admit defeat, but there is one thing that if I don't get landed voting that I can do, which should fix my economy very temporarily get rid of welfare payments and thing is right it's not a good welfare payment it's poor laws and poor laws even though they help by they, they don't really help to be totally honest they just mean that i cost it cost, i pay 20 percent more welfare costs and the people that are receiving welfare so the poor people have less political strength that's only a good thing if you have the right people in power or I said the right people. The people you want in power, right? And I don't want the people that I've got in power in power anymore. So I might as well just get rid of um, poor laws. Next things next is to build up my sulfur production. And you might be asking, why are you doing that? And the real answer is, because I said the real answer. The only answer is because paper mills. If we have a look at paper mills right now, we're on pulp pressing. However, we can go to sulfite pulping, which will require 573 sulfur which isn't actually that much why didn't i do that earlier actually can someone tell me why i didn't do that earlier look how much more money i have why didn't i spot that i was like <laughs> come on man that was like the easiest thing i could have done literally could have got rid of that ages ago could have built up ages and ages and ages and ages ago we're in 29 million pounds of debt Right, okay, if we're making this consistently, then it won't take us too long to get out of debt. So I'm going to leave it for now uh, uh, before we build up our construction sectors. So we get out of debt and then when we're out of debt, I'll build some more construction sectors to actually fully use that money. Oh, wow. With money at plus 241K and we're finally getting out of debt, I think it's time 
to build up my construction sectors again. I was just doing some routine um, exporting. And I just had a look at this. Look at the British market, how much furniture they require. I'm happy to sell them 337 of my furniture. Finally, landed voting is going quite well. We have a success rate of 38% compa compared to the like, previous 5%. I've joined, this, uh, I've joined this war with the Netherlands to help them out against some Dutch East Indies peasant revolt, just so that I can get a little bankroll from them. It probably won't be a huge amount of money, but we don't really need to send much to help either. We can just send one and get money from it. I'm happy with this. We have a potential um, revolution on our hands. But if we can enact landed voting before uh, the armed forces get their riot, get their um, revolution, then we'll be fine. We have a perfect opportunity here to get three people into our customs union. And of course, I'm going to take that. We're going to get Japan, um, Dynam and Perak, wherever Perak is. I've just researched central archives. And if you didn't know already, you can get standardized filing systems Standardized filing systems means that your government admin buildings become a whole lot more efficient at taxing people and giving me a bureaucracy. Does mean we use more paper? Yes, I understand that. But look, we have the bureaucracy. We have the tax. At the moment, I'm focusing on getting iron production and paper production. I don't really care about guns as much. Uh, it's just these, uh, these two. Maybe even, um, yeah, and tools as well. I want to get iron, tools, and paper. Uh, also, next, we're getting railways. There you go, railways. I don't know what to research next, though. Finally, 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 we have... <laughs> we have something good. We have completed landed voting. And I would love to just immediately switch to census, to be honest. But that will radicalise too many people. I will just go about wealth voting um, straight away, actually. Uh as it will radicalise potentially the scholar officials. But we're about to have our first election as the new government. I can now also invite, oh dear, I can now also invite the Netherlands to my customs union and um, Kokand, oh, um, say that again. Right, maybe wealth voting wasn't the best option. However, it's what we got now. This will, even though it says it's paused, it should still continue to move uh, at a very slow pace. The building up of my industry is actually going really well so far. Um, I just m mistakenly forgot about building up, but I also now have access to railways. So I built a motor industries in Beijing. Uh, if we have a look, I've got a motor industry here. It's making some decent money. It needs steel. So maybe we build up my steel mills a bit more. We can now um, build up trains and transport in lots of other states to connect everything up. And make it all connection connected and stuff i had to cancel wealth voting but we'll come back to it another time we'll come back to it another time completely forgot but universities that i need them to get my weekly innovation up at the moment my maximum is 80 um 2.91 innovation right i've made the decision it's time for drastic change we need a presidential republic and we need a presidential republic now revolution is upon us yeah there you go we have a couple problems, uh, including the fact that our government is now, yeah, a bit of a mess. We're going to need to ask some of our friends from abroad to join me. Um, we can obviously get our little puppet over here to join um, with just an obligation. Right, who else? I can get Russia to join. That would be good. That would be really helpful. But we, we have not got the army. We have not. We did not get the good part. Well, we got none of the part, actually, did we? Uh, okay, that's not going to need mobilising. There's no one there. Oh, my God. No, let's just disband that and have it join another one. Thank goodness for the Russians, because, look, every... We have a 2% advantage, um, and that is just because of the Russians. Look at the amount of pushing they've done. I'm already at zero, by the way. That's how bad this is. They... Well, I, I forgot to move them to defensive, like my things. So... I killed a lot of my army, and now I have zero war support. Somehow, despite us doing absolutely nothing and basically having the worst front line, um, their war support is lower than mine. They have taken um, 
almost 300,000 deaths. That might be it. Um, oh no, oh no, that's really not good. Oh dear, oh dear. I didn't realize that Russia were capitulating. Okay, they're very, very almost dead and I am not doing good. As long as I hold on to my capital though, I will not decrease past zero. Uh, I don't know why they've decreased past zero, but I'm not complaining whatsoever. When that, when that gets to 100, minus 100, we've won. So, so, so close. They're at minus 94 now. Come on, and we're, and presidential republics on ascent. So, as long as they could, oh no, they're about to, oh, they've taken Beijing. Oh dear, 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 oh dear. Yes, 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 yes. That was so, so close. That was so close. Okay, even though they're saying it's the fall of the Qing dynasty, whatever, whatever, whatever. The next law to enact, oh, I forgot we, we go blue, don't we? Right, next law to enact is, well, voting, if we can, when we can, when if we can. Right, I'd like to get industrialists in. Oh, yes, we can get industrialists in. Right. I know this is kind of crazy, but literally any state that has profit right now, um, I am building in. Because why not? We have the population for this. We, okay, we might not have the educated population soon, but we need, yeah, look, these sort of places. Uh, but we need to start educating. We have so, so much money. And you know what this money is going to go towards? when the new DLC comes out for an direct investment, but we can't do that yet. So, um, we need to... Oh, we've got some shortages. What of? Transportation. That's not a problem. Oh, why are we subsidizing transport? No, 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 no. Transport does itself, thank you very much. Privately run, no. I'm not doing any of that. Okay, so if there's any places that need transportation, which is actually probably quite a lot, they'll have some sort of earning. There's a chance of having another revolution over landed voting versus wealth voting so uh, at least this time we have more land um available to us at the beginning we actually have some i'd say we we don't necessarily have the advantage but we don't have a disadvantage anymore and we have broken 200 point well 200 million pounds we're still obviously the first in the world However, our GDP per capita is 183rd in the world. This has improved. I think, ooh, I don't know what we started at, but I think we started at something like 0.3. Damn, the Netherlands are desperate. I can ask them to become my tributary. Tib, trib, oh my God, my speaking today. Tributary. Um, just to join the civil, yeah. That's a no brainer, but we now own the Netherlands. What the hell? And we did it. We have wealth voting. This is where we have wealth voting. I need to get my economy fixed, but at the moment we're in two wars. We're in this one. Um, I think I got... Sorry, it's been a day since I last played. Um, uh, I think I got money from this. Diplomatic pact um, from a bankroll from France. Yes, that's why I'm in this one. I'm getting a bankroll and the other one is because I've now got Netherlands as a puppet or a tributary. We have an input shortage in most of my states for transportation. And you can see here, transportation, transportation. So that means that my railways are going to be making some decent cash over here. We can, we can reduce the amount um, that transportation costs by increasing the amount of coal and increasing the amount of engines that we produce. So I'm going to be increasing my engines production and my coal production while also increasing the amount of trains that we've got. Right, okay, so you see this fragile unity journal entry. There is one thing that I don't want to get. If we have a look at um, what this will do, this will basically um, trigger China to shatter. And I don't want the progress bar to get to 100%. And one of the requirements is that we're no longer a recognize, unrecognized power, which means we need to go to war with a recognized or a recognized power, like a major power like Great Britain, and force recognition. I've just had another look at the other countries that we can demand force recognition of. If I have a look at this list, there's only five of them. So we have Great Britain, we've already checked that. Prussia, um, I haven't checked. Austria-Hungary, we checked that already. I assume the US will be a difficult fight, so I'm not even going to look at it. And France. 
So, France at the moment, it says that they're not going to get any support from anyone. You have a non, like an NA from Great Britain, but we can get Russia, which will counter the British Empire. So, we've just had the 1877 June elections, and this is sadly the best government I can get. I want the industrialists in power in any way possible. If I get rid of them, then it's illegitimate. If I even just add these guys, or yeah, it's, it's a tough one. I can't have the ruralists, so I have to go for this here to get the industrialists in power and to actually have a decent level government. So if we just accept that, confirm it, we get a decent level government and I can potentially uh, this will radicalize everyone, won't it? Ooh, it will radicalize the rural folk. It will radicalize the trade. Nah, we'll go interventionism, I reckon, because then we can actually start putting our uh, investment pool, which is rather large, into things um, that I want to put them into, and it will set us up better for the future. We might as well just go let let's a fair because it it radicalizes the trade unionists, but there's barely any of them, and it radicalizes the rural folk which it, interventionism will do anyway. Let's pick in, let's affair. Okay, let's do this. I have just realized that fooding, food industries is extremely profitable, and I didn't realize that I had a shortage of groceries. Let's have a look. Yeah, I have a shortage of gross groceries. Should have been doing this ages ago, and I just simply didn't notice. Sadly, I don't think it, it looks like we're gonna get less affair. I'm gonna make sure that we don't, that we might get another setback, and then I will just try for um, interventionism. However, um, I don't really want to have this civil war. It's not a major one, but I still don't want to have a civil war. Yeah, so it's going to have to be this one with a 40% chance. Okay, I'll let this keep going, but if this gets to 90%, then I'll cancel it and move on to interventionism. Right, I think it's time to cancel it, even though this is still only at 70%. I got a stall, and I don't want to be spending any money on it, and I, yeah, I don't want to reduce industrial... Uh, political strength, so we're going to cancel it so I don't have to pick any of those choices and we're going to wait for the yeah, revolution's gone just make sure of that, and then interventionism there you go, we finally have interventionism, and we're making money again, obviously if we have a look down here um, the no, if we have a look down here, the reason we're not making that much money is because the amount of interest we have to pay off each, I think this is month I'm sorry, I don't know whether this is month or day. Um, I assume it's month or week or whatever, right? This is how much money we have to spend. So that's why we're not making that much money. So I will in decrease either military spending just to get back up and then I'll increase that back again. Okay, we've just researched something that allows us to establish our first ever company. To be honest, I think it's between the Outer Manchuria uh, premium gold and the Chinese metal company. The Chinese metal company gives you plus 10% steel mills, building throughput, and the Outer Manchuria premium gold gives us 5% more minting. And the thing is with minting is that if you have a look here, this is the amount of money I'm making from minting at the moment. Plus an extra 5% to that, we'll be getting so much more money from it. So that's why I want to do it. And the fact that steel mills, I can just build more. I have the population for it. And we now have private health insurance. Even though I don't necessarily want plus 10% political strength for my um, scholars and my basically my religious folk, uh, I need to have some sort of education because even though at the moment 21.1% literacy rate isn't bad because I'm still building up um, and using up a huge population of 952 7 million for my more advanced things that you know the, the educate basically at the moment I'm using the educated people but eventually I'm gonna run out and I can't get private schools because I've got state religion and I can't get off state religion until I have some smart people that will also boost my in um, my innovation because at the moment I am at my maximum innovation level even though I have all of these universities um, that I've been building up over time so yeah, we're innovating as much as we possibly can, but we need that literacy rate to go up for it to go up anymore. Okay, well, I'd love to get recognized now. And seeing as I'm making money, my taxation's pretty much on medium taxes now. We've sorted everything out. I'm getting religious schools. Things on my industry are going quite well. I think it's time. My military's also the strongest in the world still. 
I think it's time to start considering going to war. I've decided that it'll be France. Let's give this a shot. Okay, I can sway Russia into joining the war um, with just a simple obligation. So I'm going to quickly mobilize all my armies. We've got Russia on my side. This is going to be good. Uh, Russia will hopefully do the majority of the like naval invasions into France because I'm going to go for this area down here. Wait a minute, I completely missed it, but they caved in. Like, I actually completely missed it. Um, so look, I was, I was just like removing all my irrelevant armies, the ones that were just zero out of zero. And I, I looked and I'm four and I'm like, wait, what? That, that's not meant to happen. Then I had to look over here and I'm not, there's no war. They've caved in. I completely missed it. Another thing that keeps um, going over my head is the fact that religious schools is going to cost me more bureaucracy. And it says it's going to cost me 4,500. And you can see I've only got 1,700 um, above. So I'm going to need to build some more government admin buildings. However, the problem with these is that they cost a lot of money um, to build because it doesn't come under my investment pool. We have a revolution to enact elected bureaucrats. And to be totally honest with you, I'd love to do that. I'll do it immediately after we get these schools built. I mean, yeah, there you go, religious schools. Ah, you see, even though we're not having any money problems right now, uh, we will if I don't fix this bureaucracy problem. So I'm going to start getting the law um, elected bureaucrats. Oh God, it's going to radicalize a scholar. No, I can't. Okay. It will radicalize the scholar officials. Ah, uh, okay. We'll have to do it. We have to do it. Oh dear. 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 Okay, we we're close to getting elected bureaucrats, but not close enough. Um, yeah, let's go. Political strength to capitalists. That's best for us. Right, how's our military doing? That's our navy. Okay, we actually have a sizable force now. They do have a bigger force than we do, but we have a better force than we used to. That makes sense. Like last revolution we had, we're in a much worse position. Yes, we'll be able to get Russia on our side. We'll also potentially be able to get Austria-Hungary on our side if they don't back out. And we can get the Netherlands straight away. Okay, I've been able to call in Russia as an ally. There you go, they've sided with us. And then I just want to get Austria-Hungary. We give them an obligation. Come on. There you go. We've got 700 now. We could also get Prussia, but I don't want Prussia. Um, we could get Japan. Let's get Japan because they're close by. The war is about to start. And we actually didn't... I didn't realize this, but we actually have a state in South China. Well, if you call this South China. But in Southern China. Uh, which is good because it's my most industrialized one. And I think it's got the huge... The huge population, yeah, it does. It's my large population state. Economy's not doing great. I'm gonna have to increase taxes, really, aren't I? Uh, that's not gonna make us any more money. Okay, might as well just not tax it. I forget, we get a good president, as in a president that we actually want. So if we went this, that is the government that I've been waiting for the entire game. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, we'll be able to get appointed bureaucrats pretty quick, and then we can start trying to get some better better laws like laissez faire also the war's going really well we've pushed out here and all of our allies are helping out on the northern front i think that's the only front with any um yeah any of their actual strength is on this front oh my goodness this is going really well really 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 well um we are actually all connected up now uh, the capital isn't just you know isolated anymore and yeah everything's Everything's working, apart from my economy, but everything's working. And the war's pretty much won at this point. Uh, I don't know where their capital is. I was looking, I was like hovering over, because you can see that w which is incorporated and which one's capital. But I couldn't find it. There's a lot of states. And we have elected bureaucrats. Right, with this perfect government right now, I'm going to get move on to like lesser fare. Why not? There's anything else. I'd love to move away from state religion, but... We can't do that. No, less affair first, uh, because that will just give us loads and loads and loads of stuff. And the war is won. We just have to now make sure that we keep the government doing well. Uh, our current president is intelligentsia, so that 
means that we're going to have a market liberal sort of movement. We're going to get free trade, child labour, allow... Wait, what? That's bad. We don't want that. No, no, no. Compulsory primary schools is what I actually want. I know you might be looking at my money right now and thinking, oh, that's awful. But it's just because we're building government admin buildings and previously I was building um, military chip things, right? I'm going to build up my construction sectors a bit more because the AI that was controlling my land destroyed a couple. So I'm going to build them up. The reason I want dynamite is because it can be used in coal mines, um, iron mines, lead mines, sulfur mines, all the mines, right? And even though you're like, oh, well, you have explosive um, nitroglycerin already for these mines. We already have explosives. However, if you have a look over here, nitroglycerin has a plus 10% mortality rate of engineers, laborers, and uh, I can't ever say mechanists. Mech, mech, mech. Mech, I know what the word is, alright? But these guys... It, it increases their mortality rate. And I don't want to be doing that, whereas Dynamite doesn't. We did it, we did it, we did it, we did it. We got less affair. It's not... That, by the way, that that's not its fault. That's my fault. I had some red scare or some sort of event thing that means that I'm spending more money. I might go for this plus 10% bureaucracy because we will always have bureaucracy issues we might as well um increase the amount that we have in bureaucracy right the next thing i want to research is free trade it will radicalize the rural folk but i think it's worth it free trade is a great thing it means that we don't have to spend as much of our bureaucracy on trade and means that we can trade more so come on that that's got to be a good thing and we now have dynamite and Dynamite, like I said, removes that mortality rate from all of our mines. I'm going to start off lightly with just the iron mines first, uh, because we're going to need explosives, and we're going to need to improve that industry. I did start making some explosive factories, um, and we can upgrade it to vacuum evaporation. However, we're still going to need fertilizers, paper, and sulfur for that. So we're going to need to improve a lot of our industries. Okay, we have two bits of news. We have the new election with the Conservatives winning, which is kind of a pain. But we can just do this. We can have religion, we can have the industrialists, and we can have the intelligentsia. Because the, they decided to form one communications clique party, which is really good for us. And we also now have free trade, which is a great little benefit. Oh, I've just seen, look. We have gainfully employed 6 million and unemployed 16, oh, I meant 16 million and unemployed 16 million. So we have exactly the same amount. We are on the turning point of having less unemployed people and more employed people. Perfect. Right, I've been ridiculously stupid. Um, I forgot that I have 80, no, not 80, 383 million pounds in, in the investment pool from years and years of building it up. And I have just been casually letting it build up even more. So I've increased my um, construction a little bit, but I'm gonna increase it a lot. This money that's coming in is just general money coming in. We are not losing any money um, from construction yet because we have 383 million that we can spend. Whenever I can, I will be getting to at least restrict child labor or compulsory um, primary schools. I prefer compulsory primary schools, to be honest. Right, we have a new president. We've been voted in. Who have we voted in? I don't want them. I want these guys, just these guys, because otherwise, you know, that will just be annoying. Right, we have the best government, well, the, the government that I've always been sort of pushing towards. Um, but to be totally honest with you, can't unlock commercialized agriculture yet. I can't get out of state religion because they haven't got the right sort of leaders in. I've now got access to inviting some more people to my customs union and I'm trying to expand my customs union as much as possible. At the moment we have access to all of these regions, Afghanistan, um, this place here. Quite a lot of the regions are actually under my control already because we took um, the Netherlands under our trib tributary. Just something that I'd like to share with you guys is that I just noticed that I have tooling workshops in every single state, or at least they're going to be built in every single state, apart from Alexa, uh, El, El, Al, I don't know how to pronounce this state, but this place here. 
Uh, and that's just because we seriously haven't got the population here. And if we have a look at our employment right now, we can see that here we have 18.7 mil that are gainfully employed and 15.4 mil that are unemployed. We have finally 100% gone over um, the amount of employed. Uh, no, we've breached the amount of employed versus unemployed. I've just finally completed Urbanize China, which requires level 5... Um, wrong place to click. Level 5 urban centres in, I think, 75% of my states. Obviously, there's a couple um, more northern and western states that are kind of impossible to get to that because they just don't have the population for it. However, we have been able to make a couple, uh, oh wait, no, uh, a couple in these areas get quite high up. Do you know what I've just noticed? Our scholar official um, leader is a reformer. They endorse compulsory primary schools. Out of all of them, the most enticing one is the compulsory primary schools because I don't want the kids working in the factories. At the moment, we need to research human rights, um, which is going to take 27 months. So I think that I'm going to get that going. Instead, what's reinforced concrete going to give us? No. Okay, forget that. We're going to go straight to human rights and then get reinforced concrete. Right, we have per capita taxation enacted and it hasn't seemed to have made much of... Oh, it's gone up. It hasn't seemed to have made much of a difference. My standard of living isn't too bad. I think it was at nine before, so it might have jumped up a little bit, but that's pretty good. And now I want to try and enact, um, when we can, compulsory primary schools. And there you go. Human rights. Just what I want. Right, now... We need to go into our laws, get child labour, switch to compulsory primary schools. We have elections in three days and this is what it's looking like. The Conservative Party are still in control, but the Liberal Party, which is the Industrialist and the Intelligentsia, are gaining ground. The current government of this will still do. I could reform it, but I want to keep the Industrialists and the um, Intelligentsia in power. And there you go, compulsory primary schools is complete. And I have decided on commercialised agriculture because it unlocks the production methods, public trading and free peasants in um, farming industries. Russia would join my customs union with one sway, just one, one acceptance score more and then I could sway them using an obligation. Volume of trade, I can increase volume of trade. We now have electricity accessible to us. I'm going to first start off by placing it in and around Beijing, um, just so that we can start off lightly, and then I'll expand it to the rest of China. There you go, we've just researched steel frame buildings, and even though we're going to need more, loads more glass and steel, I'll be able to cope with that for a short period of time. Oh my god, we're losing money. First time we've been losing money in a while. Um, right, I'm going to switch this. We're going to need more steel and glass. I'm going to... Oh, I can't switch that. And I'm going to find steel and find my glass and see if there's any changes that I can make. No, there's no changes. Okay, we're going to have to just up production. So, yeah, we need more glass. A lot more, a lot, lot more. Oh, my God, we need a load of glass. Like, I'm going to import it from Russia. Um, they're going to give me a lot. Austria-Hungary. Oh, Spain. That seems like a decent chunk. There you go. We're finally not, like in pain anymore then we have this a nine percent chance of total separation and a nine percent chance of freedom of conscience i can't lie i kind of just want to go for freedom of conscience because then there's no chance of having a revolution because they don't hate it they don't love it it's just sort of in the middle is that we're slowly recovering and we've got the money again we've also got the bureaucracy for it so i would like to move my focus over to power plants and moving everything that we're producing onto a more electrical based um, method and for power we require engines so to start off with we just need engines so that will boost our engines economy as in our engines industry uh, and our motor industry so we can start building up more of these as well which require steel so that means we need more steel mills which require coal and iron if we go into resources we can build up more coal and iron there you go we have freedom of conscience that is a really good change it does mean that we don't have as much political strength i'm pretty sure um to our religious people we've just unlocked synthetic plants and i'm going to be building them across my country 
just because um, we can. Look at the amount of money they're going to produce. Might as well give people the jobs when we have the jobs to give. Oh my god, there you go. Russia, if I give them an obligation, they will join my customs union. Wait for it. We now have them in my customs union. Persia and quite a few other countries have now been kicked out of the Russian one because it doesn't exist. And look at my market. Okay, there's now a war, a civil war with Russia. We have the aristocrats on one side and the orthodox church on the other side. Obviously, we want to help out the Orthodox Church because they're in my customs union. But to help them out, we can ask for a transfer of states. We can either ask for this state here, um, over here. I'm not going to even bother trying to pronounce it. Or Alaska. I've had a look at which ones could be most valuable. Alaska has the higher population. Let me check. Oh, there is another state. Where's this? No, I don't want that. I definitely don't want that one. Um, I've had a look at the two. Alaska has the higher population and it has access to gold mines. If you've watched my previous Russia video, you'll see that I gave away Alaska to America. So maybe this is my time to use Alaska to its full potential. There you go, we now have our first state in the Americas. Not not saying that we're gonna get any any other states. For some reason Canada's called New Brunswick. Anyway, as the new controller of Alaska. Let's up the gold mines to 12 out of 12. There is no way on earth I'm having that slacking. I'm going to use dynamite and I'm going to probably have railway transportation when I um, build some railways. The war in Russia is going really well at the moment. Hopefully we can get this all cleaned up because uh, as soon as possible because I need my money to go back up. Please and thank you. And another perfect proposition. Japan are offering to become my protectorate if we help them with a little uprising. That is perfect because I won't even need to send that much. I can send probably these guys, mobilize them, put them here. At the moment we have quite a large rubber shortage and that's because I've just switched over my production in many of my um, industries to like machine steel tools and you see this requires rubber now. I found a state that can have rubber and is probably not going to get protected by anyone really. So uh, if we just go down here we can see that they've got a potential of 18 rubber in there and 5 rubber there. So I'm going to try and conquer them. Right I have two possible naval invasions going on right now. One over here with 40 and uh, no, 30 um, battalions and one other over here with 40 battalions. We do have some resistance but to be totally honest we'll be fine. We'll get a naval invasion either way. Oh dear, we now have a possible awful um, thing going on here with Persia calling me in on their side against Great Britain and we owe them an obligation so we kind of have to do it. We kind of have to do it and this does mean we'll be at war with the entirety of the British Raj and also America. So what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up. We now have the threat of both the US, the UK and Russia. Oh dear. At least we have Russia on our side. We also have obviously Persia. But ooh, this is going to be a tough one. So the war here is not going the best. I can't lie to you. Um, we did push forward init initially. Um, however, I don't know whether we're going to be able to hold on against the 155 British army. Yeah, the war's definitely not going well. Um, Russia's backed out because of their Russian front. So that's not good. Uh, we also have problems here in Persia. The only country that's still holding on uh, slightly is mine. And there you go, my boats are actually winning against the British Navy. So, come on. Yes, they won't be they won't be here for much longer trying to invade Beijing. I'm looking for a white piece to be honest, because we're not gonna be able to save Russia, I don't think. Alright, I didn't realise, but we've gone under our war support. We are now uh, of zero of war support. So that means we're gonna just continuously decrease until yeah, until we die. So I either let them humiliate me, which will just decrease my prestige and not allow me to go to war with the UK for a, a while. I hope my prestige isn't that high, but I reckon we do it, and then we come back and we kill them. They humiliated me. We're still only we're still ranked four um, in the world. There you go. I've had to re reduce my construction to 1,344 to actually make any money, and I do understand that I could have balanced it more, but I want to get out of debt first because at the moment we are spending. Um, 55.7 thousand on interest rates. All right, I think it's time to enact property women. 
um, this will increase the amount of population that are unemployed because we still don't have um, we still haven't reached the point where there are no unemployed people in my country there's still 12 million people that are unemployed I am hoping that this changes okay well you see here we have closed borders I would like to switch closed borders to migration controls or no migration controls um, this is because I didn't realize that closed borders also does not permit internal or external migration I knew it didn't permit external migration but I didn't realize that it didn't permit internal migration either it also means that we can't invite any um, exiles into our country so I want to switch over to migration controls because only pops of people of cultures and religions not discriminated against may migrate also I didn't realize but we've now got automatic irrigation for all of these places so that will require engines for this change but it does mean that we get more of these resources and the reason that I want to switch over these migration laws is because here in I'm not even gonna bother pronouncing it but this state here we have a population of 432,000 we also have a high attractiveness of migration however no one can migrate here because well we have no migration laws also we've got oil rigs here so of course I want to start getting that migration into the county we can now also get Turkey into our customs union by just giving them an obligation and then, then let's have a look at how big our customs union is getting our customs union is now the size of the mm, of Asia pretty much we almost have all of the world all of the world under our customs union oh whoops I didn't realize this was I, I, I saw that there were missionaries and I thought oh that'd be nice um okay well apparently this is not a good thing because it can enact that, that it can it can do this whole um, heavenly kingdom thing oh right okay well turns out we didn't have any other opportunities to get rid of them and it just happened anyway so we want to get rid of them because I have built the perfect China and I, they're trying to muck it up with their heavenly kingdom malarkey malarkey blah blah blah. We will crush them entirely. I'm not having them trying to take me on. The war with the heavenly kingdom has just begun and we should have got this. Yeah, we've got this. I invited in the Russians just in case it went awfully. We've just unlocked the combustion engine, which means we can switch over some of our production in here to automobile production this will reduce the price of automobiles but increase the price of engines that you'd be thinking oh but we need engines we need engines not anymore well we do we, we still need engines but i mean not as much anymore because we can switch public trams to public motor carriages and that will mean that we need automobiles instead of engines i just missed it because i was changing things but we have just won the war the ah okay here we go we get another choice um Show mercy and offer pardons to former rebel rebels. Massacre the remaining heavens. Right, okay. Um, massacre the remaining, no. I'm going to show mercy and they're going to become loyalists. And hopefully they understand that we are a, we're a free country here. You can have your rebellion, but when you lose, you don't get killed off. Okay, just having a look at the amount of money that we can get through the investment pool transfer. It looks like that we have some more wiggle room. Because if you see here, we if you see here, we are using this much of our construction money, and this much is um, getting used for investment pool transfer, which means we can spend a little bit more. So I'm going to build up my construction goods. I've been having a look at the population while at the game run, and I've noticed that even the peasants have quite a good um, wealth rating right now. They've got 10.8, and the lowest is my labourers at 4.7. So I'm thinking maybe to improve them we need to get some well um, not some wealth some welfare things so every other play every other sort of group has either 18 around 18 or 16 or that affluent in the 30s which is obviously the capitalists and the aristocrats and it's not looking too bad it's just our huge 129 million laborers that we have that are causing my um, standard of living to be quite low oh dear okay we're, we've got a revolution um, going on for wage subsidies or subsides and I would like to get this but my money situation is saying no 
However, we do have a way of stopping that, and it's just getting rid of my construction. And if you have a look, there's a lot of people that want this. But I think it's probably worth just getting it anyway. It's 99% success chance. Right, there you go. We have wage subsidies, and that is costing us a whole load of my money, a whole load of our cash. But hopefully it will increase the standard of living for people in our country. Hopefully, if we have a look at our population, um, we can see that, yeah, people aren't struggling as much. They have a standard of living of four instead of one. Oh, many have one still. We're trying to get regulator regulatory bodies and it seems to be going all right. But yeah, it's a 70% success chance, so we should get it. And that's going to cost us more bureaucracy. Oh dear, I'm losing a lot of money now. I don't know why, to be totally honest with you. I don't know what's changed. I have increased my military wages, but that's not going to be it. And we now have regulatory bodies. See, we've just lost some GDP because of that. But that's all right. I'm happy that my population's happy. And we'll, yeah, hopefully reduce the dangerous working conditions that we have in our country. We just got access to electronic industries. So I'm going to start building them up in places like Beijing and all of that. And I'm going to, tr I'm going to try to introduce them into our market as quickly as possible that we can switch over our, where are they? Our government admin buildings to telephone switch boards. Obviously we can't do this until we've researched central planning, but once we uh, research that, which is where, central planning is right here. It's gonna take 24 months. And if we did it just after this, it would take three years to finish. Uh, actually, I don't want steam turbines. Let's just get straight central planning straight away. I need that tax. I'm already so low on my taxation. And this is where we're going to end today's video. Thank you all for watching. This has been China turning democratic. If you would like to see another video like this, go check out my Russian video. I made Russia a democratic nation. Yes, do you see a theme here? Anyway, thank you all for watching. And I'll see you again next time.